What can you notice from the woman? Does she seem to be happy? Is she being accepted by the society? Do you think she is ready to have a baby yet? This scene in the movie happens daily in Thailand. There were 300,000 unprepared pregnancy per year, or about 822 women per day. Unprepared pregnancy doesn't happen only in Thai students. In 2015, 6% got raped. 5% missed birth control, 40% weren't ready, and up to 49% were being fooled by men. Financial status is one of the most important factors of raising children. There were a lot of expenses of raising one children, cost while pregnant, antenatal costs, delivery costs, credit fee for the school, living expenses, baby sister, tuition free, and many more. 2018, children whose mother denied abortion have a greater chance of living below poverty level up to 72%, or living in a household without money to cover food, housing, transportation up to 87%. Therefore, before having a baby, the woman and the family have to make sure that they are ready to cover these expenses. Not all women want to have a children, and not everyone are ready to have a baby yet. According to the statistic in the year 2015, 20% of women want to have a baby, but they aren't ready yet. And 13% don't want to have a baby at all. Having your children is an important decision that requires consideration, preparation, and planning. A baby should not come into the world unwanted. The Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment stated that unintended pregnancies are associated with birth defects, low birth weight, maternal depression, increased risk of child abuse, lower educational attainment, delayed entry into prenatal care, a high risk of physical violence during pregnancy, and reduced rates of breastfeeding. Abortion can also affect the mother's mental health. According to the studies by the American Psychological Association, women who receive abortions are less likely to suffer a mental health problems than women who deny abortions. Women who deny abortions felt more regret and anger, less relief and happiness than women who had abortions. The same study also found that 95% of women who receive abortion felt it was a right decision for them. If there is a plenty of consequences of unprepared pregnancy, why don't they all do an abortion because it's legal in Thailand? Even though abortion is legal in Thailand, but not everyone can do abortion yet because of the requirements in law. So for the current law on abortion in Thailand, which is code 301 and 305, they determine the gestational age for a woman's fault of miscarriage allowing others to miscarriage while the pregnancy over 12 weeks was guilty and must be punished to protect and balance the rights of pregnant women and their unborn babies. So they add an exception to the cause of miscarriage to cover various cases that it is necessary and appropriate to have an abortion or to terminate the pregnancy for women requiring medical practitioners to follow the criteria of medical counsel for the safety of pregnant women. And on amendment to section 301, for women with pregnant, not more than 12 weeks, abortion can be done. But from the original that pregnant women are strictly prohibited to get abortion, like of which the pregnancy age is determined according to the opinion of Medical Council and Royal College of Obstetricians of Thailand, since it is the safest period of time to have an abortion, and there is no risk that will make people with abortion a complication and life-threatening. They reduce the penalty rate in order to be suitable for the abortion person because they must be already painful which were in jail for maximum 3 months and five not over 10,000 baht or both. But why 12 weeks? The 12 weeks period is based on the opinions of Medical Council of Thailand. 
they view it as the safest period with fewest risk. And some religious people think that it's a sin because after that, the baby is developed to have a heart. There's many reasons that women wanted to have an abortion. And if it's not necessary, I don't think they want to do it because it's painful. And the law was created by men who will never understand about this because they won't face or have to do with it. It might relate it to them but not directly at some point when it comes to their partners or family and because they don't have to experience it. So they won't take it seriously or consider it as they don't know how it feels. Simple is it's her body and her rights too. I want to point out that they consider when it's up to 12 weeks, the baby will develop to have heart and can survive. However, the youngest fetus born alive for 21 weeks, Jim Elgin Gill born in Ottawa, Ontario on May 20, 1987, around 120 days early or 21 weeks gestation. He set a record when he was born for the world's most premature baby. So we can see that it can be over 12 weeks too because we don't have a baby that was born and survived under 20 weeks. So according to the abortion laws that make women who do abortion after 12 weeks become a criminal, people who care about this issue started to protest for cancelling the Article 301 and change the Article 305. Those people were protesting mainly through gathering and through social media. Especially on Twitter, there was a Thai hashtag called Safe Abortion or in Thai hashtag Tham Thang Plot Pai, which netizens were making their opinion about why the government should reconsider about the abortion laws. Most of them believe that Abortion is one of the basic human rights, and anyone who can get pregnant have their own decision about their own bodies. In addition, those who were sharing their opinions in the hashtag also said that it was not fair to have men who might not understand women's situation deciding on the law for women. On 25 January of 2021, the representatives from the Free Feminist Group appointed an assembly in front of the parliament in order to show the disagreement with the abortion laws. They started with placing the wreath in order to mourn for the person who edited the laws as a satire to show how thoughtless that person was. Then they raised the banner to show their opinions such as safe abortion is human rights no woman wants to get pregnant in order to do abortion abortion is not a crime cancel article 301 etc the most important part of this protest was that the protesters speak about their five demands on the law First, the government should reconsider about the abortion laws, including changing the Article 305 and cancelling Article 301, which punish the women who do abortion after 12 weeks. Second, the government must allocate funds for safe abortion service and give people the access for information about safe abortion. Third, the Medical Council and Public Health Organization need to ensure that the abortion process for the recipient who has been consulted and approved to receive the service must not be postponed or cancelled later. Fourth, the abortion servicer should keep in mind that the recipients may consider themselves as female or other genders. Everyone should receive their service equally despite of their race, gender, or age. And lastly, 
The Ministry of Education should review the curriculum and ensure that sex education is taught in a broad range, including accessible birth control, in order to give the correct understandings about sex education and prevent unprepared pregnancy. If abortion is illegal, they would have to do illegal abortion, which is very dangerous for them. Only 0.05% of illegal abortion is safe. Nearly a million women per year sought out for illegal abortion. Up to 68,000 died per year and 10,000 mutilated. Our society may not need the exact answer whether abortion is right or wrong. What is truly needs is the understanding of women's rights to decide for her own bodies.